Hi and welcome back to the channel Ride Share Buddy UK. My name's Kevin and today I'm just gonna have a chat about is there an alternative app um, that would be much better for drivers than Uber uh, because I think Holla is possibly the one that's gonna uh, do it but there are some caveats to that. Meanwhile I've uh, parked in the uh, Ionity doing the charge up to 100%. I have two trips on today. Uh, I've got a 10 to 12 booking at Bristol Airport, sorry, at Bristol, in Bristol, going to Heathrow. I'm hoping to get to Heathrow for about 10 to 2. So I'm hoping to do it in two hours. And then at a quarter past uh, two, I've got a plane landing for a trip back to Cardiff. Now, uh, the round trip is 273 miles. So I can't do it all on one charge. What I'm going to do, I'm going to charge up here at Ionity to 100%. That should give me 270 miles thereabouts. Then when I drop off at Terminal 3, I'm going to go around to the Tesla to try and get an extra 50 or 60 miles charged in before I have to go back to Terminal 3 to pick up. Now, it's not meet and greet, so they're going to give me a ring when I'm ready to be picked up at the uh, minicab waiting area. So hopefully that's going to give me the need time to go through um, customs, and collect baggage. So even though the plane's landing at a quarter past two, they may not be through till about quarter to three, maybe even three o'clock. That should give me time to give them a good boost uh, to bring me back to Cardiff. Okay, so I'm at the yarn. Let's see, let's just uh, reset the uh, data. So we're all at zeros. 170 o'clock, uh, 38%. So let's just uh, charge it up for today. Let's see how quickly we go up. Um, I'm going to charge up to 100% today. Um, and I think I've explained why. So uh, let's just do this. Okay, so we've got uh, 42 minutes up to 100%. Time is 20 past 10, so that'll be 11 o'clock, and that's going to give me time to get up to Bristol. I may just stop a little bit earlier to get up to Bristol for my uh, 10 to 12 booking. So going back to the last video when I did the overnight, just before the bank holiday, I didn't work over bank holiday. Uh, the, the rates weren't good enough uh, for, from anywhere. Um, I had a £20 worth of tips, so the four income for that two day overnighter was £395. So was it worth it? Would you do for £400 an overnight to earn money? I know a lot of couriers on Courier Exchange, which is like an Uber for couriers, uh, do a lot of overnighting. They go out on Monday and sometimes they don't get back till Friday. They'll sleep in the back of the van and they'll just tramp around the country. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to sleep in the back of the car here. But is it worth doing an overnight at a cheap bed and breakfast if you can find it? Uh, I don't know if the beds, if the back seat in the uh, ID for but so the ID Buzz uh, electric slide down into a bed like the camper van used to do. Um, but the ID Buzz only has about 160 mile range, so no good at all for this job. Uh, the other one, of course, is these Japanese imports, which are basically just people movers with a pop top and a little kitchen in the back. <laughs> if you could get one of those plated as a taxi, <laughs> it could be worth tramping around if you've got a proper bed and cooking facilities and washing facilities. Um, but you don't want to sleep in a normal car. But anyway, um, I'll have another quick look at something. I've received my kettle. I've been out and bought some uh, packs of coffee. So... Before we get on, I'm going to plug the kettle in and give it a try. Um, I've got the uh, three pin plug underneath the back seat here. So let's just top up with coffee, pull on a coffee, and let's have them a chat about whether Holla can take on Uber and uh, it will definitely be beneficial for drivers because you earn a lot more money on Holla. The only way driver rates in Uber are going to go is down. Um, there won't be any rises much before when they get their driverless cars on the road. So if you want to earn money back in taxi or private hire, 
you've got to look at something else apart from Uber. So let's have a chat about Hala, once I've got my coffee going. So I've been asked to do an update on the um, Hala app. Now I did have a chat to Kevin, who uh, is the owner of Hala. He came up to visit a few companies in Wales, um, because evidently there's going to be a bit of a launch sometime at the end of the summer. Uh, there's a new round of funding coming in. So I think some, this is, Hala is an app. Um, if you can, if you're a pro hire driver and an owner driver, uh, operator driver, you really need to get signed up to. And also black cabs. The app for black cab allows you to put in the council rates. So you get paid the meter rates and the quotes are based on meter rates to a certain extent. Obviously you can't take into account things like traffic uh, during the rush hour and stuff like that. But at least passengers will know uh, roughly what the rate will be and you can override the rate um, and put in the actual meter reading at the end of the job uh, for payment. As a private hire operator, you get to set your own rates, uh, your own mileage rates, which is great. Um, they're getting quite a lot of people, uh, companies signing up. I mean, what it basically is, is a um, taxi comparison app. So when a rider wants to book in a job, um, they're, they're putting their pickup and destination and the result is uh, a number of uh, companies with their quotes on the rates that they've set. Uh, and then the passenger can choose which one they want to go with, whether they want to go with the cheapest and wait a bit longer, or whether they want to go with the nearest and get a taxi quicker. So they don't always have to go for the cheapest, and a lot of people don't go for the cheapest, they tend to go for convenience and speed of response. So, um, very, very good thing for the driver to, to sign up to. I've been signed up for a few months now, but I've had practically no jobs from them at all. No quote requests, no nothing. Um, I've not paid on any quotes, to my knowledge. Um, certainly haven't won any quotes, if they did turn up. And this is what I think the problem is. Drivers aren't signing up because there's no work there. Now, of course, they can't get work unless they've got drivers to respond to the work. Um, it's that catch-22. I know he was saying he's going to be spending quite a lot of money on uh, six figures, some of money on marketing and advertising. Where that's going to be, I don't know. They would have to target that. Uh, but £100,000, say, spread over the country, is not a lot. Um... And it does worry me about the rates and that charging. I'm only charging 5% commission uh, on jobs plus banking charges. That's not a lot, um, which is good news for drivers, but uh, that money is not going to give you enough turnover or enough margin to spend on investment and marketing and things like that. Um, so 5%, I think, is too low. I think they should go for 10 even 15%. Um, but I don't envisage at 5% commission that they've got the budget to spend a lot on marketing. Uh, and you can't loan money or lend money to do marketing uh, because that's, that's an ongoing operational cost which needs to be met by your income. Uh, and at 5%, there's no margins there. But at the moment, I have just done a quick rush through of all of my apps that I've applied for and I've got rid of all of those not producing uh, work. I did think about taking Hollow off because there's no work, but he did say that they are spending money on advertising shortly. So I may hold out until September, October, maybe November. Uh, certainly won't keep it on the app on my phone if it's uh, nothing's coming in by Christmas. Um, but I think it's the best option uh, for independent drivers and smaller companies, it's their best option if they want to take on the likes of Uber. Because Uber is controlling the market. Uber and Vezu are the two big ones controlling the market now, and nationally. Um, and for a smaller operator, you've got to work together with other companies. And the best way to work together to produce 24 hour coverage and wide range of coverage is through an app. And I think Hala is probably going to be the best one of the lot uh, because of its low charges. 
although that in itself is a weakness. So that's it, my quick update. Um, I'm not getting any work from Holla. I will hang on to it until Christmas. If it's not producing work by Christmas, uh, then I'll kiss it goodbye and take it off the phone. Uh, it's just taking up space and bandwidth. Um, but it does need something like Holla to allow smaller operators and independent black cab drivers to be able to compete with the likes of Uber. Because one man bands or even two or three drivers in a small group or organisation or black cab, they can't cover 24 hours. You need your sleep, you need your downtime. And working through an app gives you that sleep time and downtime. Uh, I know in London there's lots of things like Free Now and black cabs have really got it together to organise and uh, apps uh, for convenience for passengers. I don't believe anything like that is available in Newport. I don't think it's available in Cardiff even. So black cab operators really need to sort of uh, get on the ball and get with an app. And I think Holler's a good app to get with. But I'm getting no payment, no commission, no nothing from Holler for this. Just my personal thoughts. So that's my thoughts on the situation. You know, what's your thoughts? Has the private hire industry and the taxi industry basically come to an end now? with the likes of Uber and Vazo controlling prices, reducing driver earnings to bare minimum? Or is there still the option for uh, drivers to fight back, take control of their earnings again? It used to be a very good, well-paid, good job uh, back in the 80s. Um, flexibility, reasonable pay, under par with uh, sort of semi-skilled workers. Now it's minimum wage and below. Um, yeah. Uber are pushing for driverless cars. So they don't care about whether they want to bring in new people for the industry, the future of the industry. They see the future as in being driverless. So they're quite happy to price out drivers by under, by completely undermining fares. Because they don't need to attract new people in. Uh, they've got the likes of the Robo Taxi. Uh, from various companies and Waymo and places like that that can come in uh, and replace drivers. I think it won't. I think it will happen for Ubers and the Bolts and that sort of company. But I think most people still opt for that personal touch, especially older people. For older people, having a taxi down to the hairdressers is social interaction that they don't get, that they won't get in a driverless car. There's always people willing to pay that little bit extra for that little bit of extra um, service and that personal touch. And that's what taxi driving is about, it's that personal touch. And if you get on well with customers, they'll book you again and again and again. Uh, you're always going to have younger people who just do it for the money, they just want cheap, everything cheap. Uh, but the older uh, generation appreciate that personal touch. And that's why I don't think we're going to be totally dependent on driverless cars. But it's going to be down to drivers as to whether they can take on the likes of Uber uh, and combat Uber. We've seen it in the, the supermarkets. A lot of supermarkets are now getting rid of their um, self-serve tills and bringing till assistance back because people prefer that personal touch. And it'll be the same with taxis. Uh, some people will up for the cheap prices of a driverless, but a lot of people will still stay with people, with a driver driving. Um, but you drivers have got to organise, get together, try and sort out some sort of cooperative type movement or work with a, uh, a driver-based app um, rather than a passenger-based app. So that's it, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Can Hala take on the likes of Uber, Vezu and Bolt? Um, and will drivers ever get back to being paid a reasonable amount of wage for the hours and the job that they do? That's it, thanks for watching. Until next time, take care, safe driving and make that profit. Okay, so there we are, charged up to 100%, 304 miles on the clock. So officially, uh, theoretically, we should be able to do all of today's work and have just enough power to get to the Tesla in Car Cardiff, but I'm not going to risk it. 
Um, have a look at the app. There we go. Uh, cost seventeen oh seven, so not too bad at all. Um, Forty three p kilowatt hour. Are you on the tea?